Once a month, Western Trading Post here in Casa Grande's historic downtown holds a live auction. I got a hundred. I'm money. Bidders come from all over the world, hoping to take home a piece of cowboy, Western, or Native American memorabilia, even a slice of Americana. We had people from Washington who were coming through the Southwest and planned their trip, Washington State that is, they planned their trip so they could be here on this day because they bid online all the time with us. In fact, an online bidder in France won this green pickup truck parked outside the store. Not only do we help a seller who wants to sell some items and buyers who want to acquire items, but we get to perpetuate history rather than have items just wind up getting tossed somewhere. The Trading Post was first established in 1877 when Arizona was just a territory. The Olsons helped keep that past alive by passing down what they call a living history. At the auction and in the Trading Post, it is just such a blessing because we get to keep history alive and we try to educate the younger generation. And how is the best way to educate the younger generation? But that is to have them fall in love with it, just like we love it as well. Jim and Bobby Jean's love of the Southwest is in their DNA. Jim was born and raised in Arizona, Bobby Jean in New Mexico. He was a professional rodeo cowboy. I have to brag about him on that because he, he did calf roping and team roping. He did ranch work. I mean, he lives it and loves it every day. And Bobby Jean has earned her Western star too. I grew up in the Western lifestyle from being a rodeo queen to working in Western films, Western modeling doing movie stunt work in the westerns and I do think that when you live it and love it it's just in your blood and their business is a family affair Jim of course runs the auction Bobby Jean models and showcases the items up for bid while their son Rowdy keeps the crowd in check tracking the communication through hand signals and seeing who's bidding on what. He sold it, $80. But how does anyone keep up with Jim? Like all auctioneers, they talk so fast. How do you even know what he's saying? Here's how it starts out, all right? I'm a $1 bid, now two, now two, would you bid two? I'm a $1 bid, now two, now two, would you bid two? And after you practice that for years and years and years, it kind of comes out going something like, I'm a one, not a bit, now two, now two, would have been two, one, not a bit, now two, now two, would have been two. That's your basic auction champ, they call it. Sold them $100.